Hey ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here with a quick how-to video. Hey look guys, it's not a haul. So here's what I am doing. This is my back of my notebook where I got my scrapbook going. I got this piece of foam to hold my paper in place because this is a pretty slick background. They're pretty slick uh, cover on my notebook. I'm getting ready to do something. Hopefully I'll get it done and posted for the Color Throwdown Challenge. If not, I will still post it, but I just won't have the links down below that say that it's for the Color Throwdown Challenge. Um, I'll put the, the, the number for the challenge down in the, in the bar for the description, but I'm not going to call it the, the I'm not going to tag it, because, um, yeah, if I get it done in time, then I'll tag it, but otherwise, nah, I won't. Um, last week's, as you know, I got two cards done, I put one card up, I still have to do that how-to, um, I'm missing something very important to do that how-to, so, yeah, anyways, this one first is how-to tell what colors you're working with. Now these are my Kaiser Craft uh, pads that I got and the colors this week are, are uh, olive, rust, and plum. Well plum is a really deep purple so I think just about any plum, deep purple I have will work. I know I've got a really nice one in my PSX uh, set and I've got some a really really nice deep. Um, I want to say it's the crushed Concord in the in the um, distress inks, but uh, the plum I'm I'm pretty sure I've already got. So I need to find a rust, and I need to find a olive green. Now rust is almost like a maroon, but not quite that dark. So all I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of paper and I am putting a smear on there. This particular color is red gum. Okay. And then I'm making a smear on this other side. This is 100 pound uh, white cardstock from Scrapbooking Made Simple, by the way, in case you were wondering. Putting a smear of this one on here, pardon my hand. Um, and this is the vintage. Now to me, vintage looks more brown, where this looks more like a rust. So I like the red gum, okay? So the vintage can be put away because that one's not going to qualify. He's not in my mind. Now I need to find my greens. So I'm going to come over to this side. All right. Because I don't want my sheet of paper by the time I get done looking like a, a ad for a Christmas card. I gotta get going on my Christmas cards too, guys. Uh, so, let's see what this is. That looks a little too yellow to me. This is avocado. To me, that's not quite olive greeny enough. And I really had hopes for that one. And then there's this one. Um, that's not very, very close either. Makes sense since this one is green. And there's this one. And this one is the gum leaf. And you know, I think out of the three of them, to me, the gum leaf looks more olive. Now, I'm trying to get this to go kind of true to color. Um, 
the lamp's got a real kind of yellowish look to it. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the gum tree. Or the gum leaf. So those will be the two colors that I'm going to use from my card. Is the red gum and the gum leaf. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. They're both gums. Okay. Now they do have a really, or they do have a purple in here, but it's not a real deep purple. It's not a plummy type of purple. Um, I have some lawn fawns that are purple. I've got two of those. Okay. Well, this is this is kind of a a lavender. I think they call it. I think they call that lavender. And this one is my sugar plum. Oh, I bet my sugar plum will work. Even though it's a dye ink. And I am using it with those. Yes, that will work. That will work just fine. Okay, so I got my three inks. Okay, and that's usually the way that I start, guys, is I play. Okay, now if I wanted to, I could go back, watch the video, write down the names of the colors right next to them. But I found over on Sarah, no, Jennifer McGuire. If you know who Jennifer McGuire is, um, if you go over onto her YouTube site, you will find... A, a video where she talks about making um, color cards and uh, she has a printout on her website and I don't think I have any of those available at the moment to show you um, for these color cards that she has and they are really nice color cards guys I don't think I got any I really don't I don't think I have any near me at the moment. I am not in my craft room yet. I know I've been trying to get in there for quite a while, but I keep having stuff coming in and I haven't been feeling good this week, so I've been pretty much in bed. Uh, actually, I should say this weekend. I, our neighbor got a deer out on our property. I don't want to hear any comments about how bad it is to shoot deer, guys. It's really necess a necessity. Um, listen to your DNR. They'll tell you it's a necessity. And uh, they, uh, he was showing us, and I went outside, and Minnesota got hit by this huge snowstorm on Friday night, or Friday and he shot it on Thursday, and I went outside without a jacket on and picked up a chill and caught a really nasty cold this weekend and was working with a fever all weekend long. Isn't that fun? And then, um, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know what I did with those sheets. Okay, so, but, yeah, so that's what I do. That's my process for coming up with what colors I'm going to use. So, I'm going to use the red gum, because this is really starting to look brown, don't you think? I think that's really starting to look brown. Um, I keep wanting to, to press the color instead of pressing my thing. Okay, where this to me looks more like a rust. Barn door, I think, would, would work. Or not barn door. Um, rusty hinges, I think, would work, too. But, and then the the gum for the for the olive. I think it's as close as I'm going to get. I'm thinking of pulling out my um, heartfelt creation stamps and dies for doing this card. What do you think? Or at least the stamps. Leave me a comment down below. I probably won't be able to read it before I have to get the card up. But hey, it works. And see, this is nice, heavy cardstock, so it didn't bleed through. So if I wanted to, I can still use this side. Okay, guys, I will talk to you later. See ya. Bye.